Hi guys, first we're starting with bruschetta. Alright, so the first step is to take my bread and cut heart shapes. I'm supposed to use a cookie cutter, but I don't have one, so I'm going to have to freehand this. And I probably should have done one at a time just in case I mess up, but... I guess it's all or nothing. That's somewhat of a heart. So this is going in for 15 minutes. All right, so while that bread is toasting, I'm gonna take out some of the goat cheese. And I don't know where my knife is, but it said I, I'll need this softened, so I'm just gonna take some out and um, put it in the bowl just to um, stir it a little bit. Not really stir it, but just mix it to make it soft. And I only have two small hearts, so I shouldn't need that much. But I like cheese, so let's go a little bit more than I think I need. All right, and I'm just gonna mix this around a bit so that when it's time to spread it on my toast, I don't tear my toast up. All right, so for the next part of the appetizer, I'm gonna prep the topping. So I'm gonna take these tomatoes. I think I washed these, but I'm not sure. So let me wash these and I'll be back. All right, so they are washed. I'm going to chop these up. Alright, so that's chopped. And I'm going to put all of this in my bowl. And I'm going to pour on some olive oil. some balsamic vinegar some basil pepper salt And I'm going to give this a good mix. And let's get a spoon to taste it to see if I need to add more seasonings or if it's good to go. It's good to go. So I'm just going to sit this aside until the toast is done. All right, time to taste the appetizer. That's actually better than I thought. Goat cheese has a really strong taste, but with the um, balsamic tomato mixture, it's good. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up for the first course. I'll be back.